Hello there everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome, there's so many of you on today, thank you for being here. Oh, hello my precious people, how are you today? So nice to catch up, I can't believe we only have two days until the event. <laughs> So exciting. It's like the event of the month. <laughs> Maybe it's the event of the year. No, nah, because we've got another one this year at the end of the year. <laughs> hello, hello. So we have lots to cover today. Firstly, Stampin' Up! have released the last chance offer list. So if you are one of our precious customers that we appreciate very much, please head over there because it's only while stocks last and once it sells out, it's gone forever. Literally, Stampin' Up! do not create it again. So don't miss out on your favourites. I put out an email yesterday. Oh, Lisa's here. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. We're so excited about the weekend. We've got so much happening. Straight after our live today, we're doing a powwow together. Bruno's been rehearsing. Oh my goodness, there's so much going on. <laughs> And I will talk about some of the questions we've had too, because I, I do want to help you all have a fantastic time on Sunday. So I will talk about some of the things we were chatting about. Hello, precious Cindy. <laughs> so yes, the last chance offer has started. So I am going to add a link here for you all so that you can jump over and I'll actually show you on my computer screen. For some reason, my computer screen is not allowing me to do picture in picture today. I don't know why. So anyway, we'll, we'll see what I can figure out by the time that I go into create mode, whether I can find the, the picture in picture mode. It just disappeared because, you know, that's what computers love to do to us, right? It's better now than on Sunday. <laughs> So if you go over to our blog, kylibertucci.com, if you live in Australia, you can head over to our blog and check it out. This is the card that we made last week together, these two here um, on our live. And everyone loved those cards. They're a really simple fun fold card, but we got lots of feedback on those. So up the top here, you can just click on this shop or our Stampin' Up! store. And when you click on that, <clears throat> it will take you to our Stampin' Up! store and that's the first banner. You'll see our name up the top there, Kylie Batucci flashes up. And if you miss the little blurb here on the page, because that does change, just click on Sales and Specials and then go down to Last Chance Products. And so you can click on that and see all of the items that will be leaving us forever. I feel like something's already sold out here because they, that was down here. Something has changed already. So yes, jump in quick. You do not know how long things will last for. And if you have any questions, just reach out. I put some of my favorites on an email yesterday that I'm really sad are leaving us. And um, one of them was the hippo dies. There's a few of the embossing folders I'm really sad about. Those iconic dies. <laughs> so we'll probably have a good buy. <clears throat> a goodbye party because um, I like to say goodbye to my precious items that I'm going to miss a lot. So actually I need to get the sea life dies and the seascape dies out today because we're going to we're going to use those again. Although is that part of yes it is because I, I really want to use this one today. I'm using the ocean set today. Have you got yours yet? I've got a few, another prototype to show you as well though. So it's Seascape Cling. So yeah, this is a must have this one with the new Waves by the Ocean set. It's a really great set. So yeah, come over here, have a look and see what there is. There's a great sales on some of the paper. Um, so make sure that you make the most of the last chance offer list because once it's gone, it's gone forever. We don't want you missing out. So I'll give you a link here to that page and you can come over and have, have a bit of a shop, have a bit of fun. <laughs> we do love to shop. 
I do love me a bit of shopping. So uh, we'll put here last chance items. Click here. There we go. Now, let's have a look at some of your comments. Megan, Lisa, I will be crafting on Sunday, but not doing your projects. Is that okay? Of course it's okay, Megan. <laughs> I think I've said to a few people um, that if you wanted to, just to relax and see exactly, because we've had, had a few questions in terms of what paper am I cutting? What's it meant to look like? I wish I could see inside the card. And, you know, maybe that's something that we'll do for the next one. Um... <laughs> I'm making them a demo and I have seen the new catalogue. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yes, that's a very good point. <laughs> but yes, if you want to just sit and enjoy on Sunday and not put yourself under any pressure to craft and just chat along with us like you're doing here today. You know, some of you are jumping on here and chatting and having fun. So don't feel under pressure to have to like follow along with every single project you might just get one project done and then decide you know what i'll do the rest later i'll do a catch up and we have the facebook page to help you with that and we may even do like a little catch up event like i might do a zoom or something like that to check that you have followed through and done your projects and just do a little bit of a display but we'll do something cool to just follow up. But just we really want you to enjoy the day. We don't want you to have any stress. We want it to be really fun and relaxed and chilled. And that's why we've said even if you don't have all of the products, that's okay. It's fine. Just use what you have. No pressure. But then if you watch us do our projects and then you think, oh my goodness, I need that set. Great. Awesome. Then go, go get it after the fact. Gina's in the house. Hi, Gina. So good to see you here. You like my lippy, do you, Yvonne? <laughs> Got some new lippy today. So I'm going to put up the link for the online stamping retreat. You literally have today and tomorrow to register. If you haven't done it, are you the only person on the planet that hasn't? <laughs> you're gonna miss out if you don't come along don't get FOMO on Sunday here in Australia or Saturday in the US don't get FOMO fear of missing out when you find out all your friends are going except for you you don't want to miss out so online stamping retreat here is the link go over there go sign up you're not gonna miss anything if you go and sign up now <clears throat> because it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll just have a quick look here and see who our latest subscribers are. Woohoo! Marie has jumped in. Roslyn Herber, Bronwyn, Barbara, Melissa, Carol, Nancy. Oh, two Nancys. And a Ruby. Hi, Ruby. So we have lots of awesome, awesome people coming along to this event. And we're going to have so much fun chatting with all of you on the live broadcast and we'll be here to help you through step by step. We have made it so jam-packed so I just want to warn you we are moving super fast like lightning speed so you might feel like I can't keep up but we wanted to cram in as much creativity as we possibly could for you all and hence why the recording is so important because you probably, if I am honest with you, I doubt very much that you will be able to complete every project because there's even sections where Bruno and I are crafting at the same time. And so you'll probably have to pick one of our projects because I, I don't know how you will do two projects at once. <laughs> you'll be like... Okay, now we're going over to Kylie's. Now we're going over to Bruno's. <laughs> so just... Breathe, keep reminding yourself you've got a recording. It's all good. <laughs> yes, today's the pre-party. <laughs> I like that, Heidi. That's brilliant. So I wanted to bring you something fun today to show you kind of the cards that we will be making at our event. So these are the cards that I've really kind of like stepped up a next level. And this is not the card. 
You've never seen the card that I've made. I've never put it anywhere online. It's something brand new to me. Probably not new to all of you. Some of you have probably tried this card that I'm making on the weekend. Um, but I just wanted something a little bit different for me. And I know Bruno's, I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere. I mean, it probably has been somewhere, but it's an amazing project. So you are absolutely going to love it. You're really going to enjoy the weekend. So this is the card that we're making together today. And it's just a an idea of the type of fun folds that we're going to do together. Um, it's not what we're going to do. This is completely different to what we're going to do, but it gives you a good idea. <laughs> so here we go. You ready? I just have to pull it through. This is a very technical card, this one. And it's deciding to have a little hissy fit before it goes live. It's like, I've got stage fright. <laughs> so I don't want to see all the people. They're going to stare at me and judge me. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> That's how my card speaks. Okay, I've got it the right way this way to, this time too. So that's good. Okay, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Flat card that goes. Boom! Check it out! <gasps> now, this is called a theatre card, this one. And I'll tell you what, it brings the drama. That's for sure. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this one today and I wanted to use the Waves of the Ocean collection to just show you how versatile this type of card is because you can really dress this whole thing up. And I haven't put a sentiment on this one yet. I thought we'll just decide together um, what we're going to do. But isn't it cool? And then you just push it across and flat. So it goes in a normal envelope. <laughs> Brilliant. And I'll give you the measurements for both Australia and US so that we all can do this together. Yes. Your cards speak to you like that, do they, Megan? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so let's have a look. Firstly, have you got a Beveragino, everyone? Have you got your Beveragino? We need a Beveragino so that we can have some energy for our crafting. Oh, merchandise. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? So something arrived yesterday. Oh, Bruno might have taken it out of my room, actually. He stole them back. Anyway, I'll see if I can get them back from him. But our pins arrived for the online stamping retreat. <laughs> so if you're coming along to the retreat, we're just going to give you a heads up that more than likely they will go live during the retreat and they're limited time only. So I'm giving you a heads up because you're all our special peeps and those that are coming, you have to make sure that you know and you're aware that it's going to go fast because there's not a whole lot. <laughs> Lisa and Gina are in the house. <laughs> Yay, Lisa's got her beverage, no. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tart cherry juice. Yummy. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mandy Moo. <laughs> so I want to have a little look here at what's going on with my Switcher Studio. I have no idea why he's not letting me do picture in picture. And the other one's not working either. So you're just not going to see my face today. No pretty face today. You miss out on my pretty face. <laughs> no idea. It's just had a little hissy fit, but that's okay. We'll just face down. The normal the normal section that shows me where to put the picture has just disappeared. These things happen, right? No. Unless they've put it in a new place. They do this to me from time to time. Try and confuse me. But yeah. There's a whole new setup on here. So let's do little face down and we can start this awesome card. Make sure I've got all of this out of the way for you. So it looks pretty, pretty on the screen, but you have no idea what's off camera. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, here's Carly's face. <laughs> What's going on? So let's bring out some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Now, this gives you an idea of how you can make, and this very much is reminiscent of our event on the weekend, that we really want you to creatively explore how you can turn something that is one suite or one set of paper into another. So if you don't have what we're using on the weekend, which some of you have messaged us and said, you know, what would be a good alternative? There's lots and lots of alternatives that you can use that um, you're going to absolutely adore. So just pick your favorite. Pick something that you love and that will win. That will be the winner. So I'm just going to grab the Seascape, which is, that one is retiring. So definitely get your hands on this one because I just think it goes so well with this beautiful collection. And let me decide from all of our dyes here. <laughs> Look at all our dye collection. <laughs> and can you believe that this is in alphabetical order? Can you believe I'm that organized? Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> so he labels it. And in case you want to know what the um, label is, it's best one. That's the font, I should say. And we just use our Dymo label maker for that. I think it's, is it Sea Life? Actually, it's Sea Life that I want with the um, little fishies and the... But even this one actually is quite good, the C one. So either of those could be quite good because we've got some leaves and even this little, we'll see what we can do with this guy. Maybe we can do this in the foil. <gasps> That'll look good, won't it? So let's put that, oh, that's really heavy. <laughs> let's put that over there. <laughs> and I'd like to use the diorama dies today as well, like I've done here. I think... This is such a great set of dies and they're fantastic for this type of card as well. But you could use the contours, even the rectangle dies. There's a few different dies that you could swap out for. But I think particularly with the ocean one, but even with this, I think it looks like you're looking through a safari, like looking through the jungle. Isn't that the coolest? That would be such a great boys card or masculine but even, yeah, for girls, I think it looks really fun and adventurous. It could be for someone who's being adventurous and doing something new in their life. So let's have a look here what we're going to pick. So we've got lots and lots of beautiful, beautiful paper here to choose from. I'm vibing this one for the front cover. So that side there. And I think the, the little window or the little side pulling pieces, I think if we do something like this, I think that will be a really nice contrast inside. Maybe even that side because it's got a little bit still of that Knight of Navy. And then we're going to cover that on top. So I think oh, I love this paper. Isn't it just gorgeous? It's nothing like Stampin' Up! paper. It's just so good and it's so good that it all coordinates all the colors match everything's happy yeah it's just brilliant brilliant I say now the cut that you're gonna need to do it's actually quite simple you'll be very very surprised oh one of my little scoring tools decided to go for a little walk come over here little one there he is so it's very, very simple. If you have my card template tutorial, it actually is the Cajun Craze layer that we're going to cut. Uh, how many times? We're going to cut the Cajun Craze layer four times. That's as difficult as this card is. Do you think you can do that sizing, everyone? You could even do it right now if you have my card templates. Cajun Craze four times. If you don't have my card template tutorial, definitely go and grab that because it 
really, really is going to help your card making. Card templates, template tutorial. Uh, I'm like, what's the quick key? <laughs> remember, Kylie, remember the quick key. So I've decided I'm going to use... I definitely think that the Knight of Navy will pop against this, but you could use any other colour that's in here if you wanted to use the Coastal Cabana or the Granny Apple Green, like whatever you're vibing. You can grab whatever you want, but I'm going to do the Knight of Navy because I love those deep blues on here. I think it looks so stunning. And then all we're going to do is just cut those four Cajun Craze pieces. And then we'll go from there. So if you have your Cajun Craze of your normal piece of cardstock, we're basically using a whole sheet of cardstock. And it should use every bit of it. There will be nothing remaining unless Stampin' Up! have cut the paper wrong. <laughs> Which they do from time to time. So just check, always check that. I'd rather them be a little bit over than under. So I forgive you, Stampin' Up! <laughs> Even this side sometimes. I always like to check every side because, oh yeah, that's not bad, that one. Yeah, don't assume that you've got it all absolutely perfect because sometimes there's just this little tiny slither that's just extra did you know did you all know that <laughs> you probably have learned the hard way you're like why is this not lining up yeah that's why so once you have your four pieces <clears throat> what these are going to be is the front panel so that's the front panel we've got the two inserts on the side so they're those two and then the back and that's how simple it is peeps can you believe it so this is actually from a french um demonstrator that created this card and i will get her name actually bruno might be able to find her for me because she's such a sweet sweet demonstrator we have made this theater card before and she's just so smart she's a real clever clogs that one now, what you're going to do, and it's very technical, <laughs> but all you're going to do with two of them is actually score at the halfway point. So for, for our US peeps, your halfway point <clears throat> I worked out is two and three quarters. For our Australian peeps, let me see here if I've got it right. Um, yes. So it's just like 7.4 and a half so I kind of <clears throat> I kind of went for 7.4 because I thought you know it's better to be a little bit under than a bit over so just 7.4 and score and then for US peeps and um, Canadian it's two and three quarters and score and this is going to become that little section that we pull out and so then all you need is just a little tiny piece here that we're going to glue to the base. So very simply, I just did one centimeter or you can do two, like if you're a little bit wider, just remember that your inside piece is going to change depending on how big this piece is. And I'll show you that a bit later. So I'll do about one and a half, just so that there's a little bit there. So for the um, US peeps, you can do um, half half an inch if you wanted to do like a little piece there so that's going to sit like so on the base of our card just get your bone folder and give it a really good crisp burnish along the edges so that that sits nicely and that's how it's going to sit on the base of our card so we'll do the other side very technical don't you love these cards that look scary, but they're actually not? It's like, ah, is that all it is? So that bit. 
<clears throat> and then we need 1.5 is what I decided and for the US half an inch and we'll just burnish this side as well Whee! same same direction the fold so that's that's our mechanism voila like so and that's what's going to pull out and you just got to make sure you glue it down right of course so we'll actually, I'll show you this here. Now, one little thing that you could do if you wanted to, and I didn't do it already, but if you wanted to make it a little bit easier to guide through, because you're probably wondering, how is this staying here? What is the mechanism that's keeping these little pieces in place? So I'll show you here. I'll just pull it out. <clears throat> There's actually two little guides underneath here that I've stuck underneath the top of the card and so they're not technical it's just a little like a belly band type thing that's just guiding those two pieces through can you believe it when you deconstruct it you're like ah I get it now <clears throat> so that's how it's sitting and it's just interesting because you sort of expect to glue it down the opposite direction but yeah it sits like so so it's almost like if you see it sitting closing like a book like this if that's the way it's going to stick down like so so let's do that <clears throat> now one other little suggestion that i was going to do actually before i stick down it's very handy if you just slightly ever so slightly just take a little bit off these two pieces here and the reason why i suggest taking a little bit off the edge is it just means that then you can have these guides sit snugly behind the front cover so I'll show you what I mean and it'll make sense so I think I'll just do like maybe a sixteenth of an inch or two millimeters even one millimeter very very tiny amount so that it almost makes no difference but it does one millimeter makes a difference so just cut that down and that's just going to give us a little bit oh I'll cut a little bit more on that side oh no it's the same <laughs> I'm like oh no <laughs> did I cut that wrong <laughs> so yes that just gives us a little bit of a breather when we create our little um, guides so let's stick this down and this is on our base here and then we can go from there I found this was easier for me and then I could start decorating after I had it all in place and getting the front cover sorted so as I said it folds and you're gonna have it like that sticking down and then fold this this was the easiest way for me to guide me and then you can just make sure that that sort of lines up as well because you want that front panel to be happy so all we're going to glue so you could actually line it up first and to make sure it's really really accurate and really like nicely fitting together then you can just um, glue from here so what you would do we know that that's happy so that one I can let go of and we get our Tombow glue we're keeping this in place I'm just going to open up that first one then open up this little one here and pop my Tombow glue I haven't moved it pop a bit of Tombow glue on there and then press down it may not look exactly right to the eye and it might even be a little bit over but that's okay that's not going to affect anything because you won't really see much of that once it's all closed up and then we can do the same over here line it up make it look pretty yes and make sure it's lined up because we've got a little bit taken off the top and the bottom so just making sure it's lining up at the top and the bottom because all of those things make a big difference to your final product holding it in place pulling this back and then doing your gluing you're gonna feel like you're all fingers and thumbs but this is just a really nice way 
to ensure that everything is in the place that it needs to be. Hello there, Donna. Ah, oh, thank you, Lisa. So there we go. That's as technical as that first bit gets. And for me, I've even decided it would be really nice to do a card just based on this, this first section here. And I have actually done something similar for my tutorial for next month, um, which I'm really, really excited to see how it works with our New Horizons paper, which I'm very sad to read about in the last chance list. Yes, that is the mechanism. So isn't that cool? It's so, it looks complicated, but I hope, have I broken it down for you? <laughs> I hope I've dispelled some of the scariness in this project because it really is quite a simple project, surprisingly. And then we've got our little front cover that is going to sit there. But of course, we want those two pieces underneath for it to attach to. And we also want to decorate this before we do all that. So first thing I'm going to do is cut down this gorgeous piece here. And I decided that I'd glued the designer series paper first onto the project. Now you can decide to do it to the very edge, which I kind of, I liked it on my one. Where's the top piece? I did it to the very edge. I think that will look good. I think we'll do it to the very edge, which would be, again, a Cajun craze size that you're going to be cutting the paper at. So cut that down to Cajun craze. So we've got five pieces at Cajun craze size now. And then we'll glue that down on the front. Whee! Don't look at the side you're putting glue on because we don't want to cry for the other side. <laughs> and then just line that up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's why I love Tombow glue because everything just lines up. And Lisa always recommends getting your um, amazing silicon mat and I always forget and then I end up with glue all over my fingers and all over my desk and I'm like I should have listened to Lisa <laughs> and used my silicon mat <laughs> why didn't I listen now we're going to cut out the die from the front now actually the first time I used the bigger one and it just it was just a little bit too big, like I found it didn't sit right. So I think this is the second largest size in the dies. Let's have a little look here. This is the cool thing about these dies is you can check it out. You can put it on here and see whether it, it's too big or I think I use I might have used that one, which actually isn't bad. I actually don't mind that. In fact, it might be a nice little accent. We might try having a little border around the opening, which would be nice. Be nice, different, unusual. <laughs> yeah, silicon craft sheet for the win. <laughs> Gina's onto it. So if you ever want like a little border, then you just stack these in between one another and then you're going to have like a little boarded cut out for you there that's going to be just the right size for you which is really cool with it that's why these layering dies are so amazing as you can also create frames as well so we'll do that we'll cut this big one out first and then actually no we don't want the big one we want the little one but we're going to do the frame after that yep i like that just get my stamp and cut my boss machine, my skim, and bring him over. Come, you little one. So, if you don't have one of these new stamp and cut and boss machines, uh, you need it. <laughs> you have to get it because I really didn't think there was going to be much difference from the. Um, the big shot but I could not believe the difference when you do embossing it's just so beautiful so 
So we just line that up where we want it. Don't be too fussy, but of course, actually what we do want to check, we want to see here, because we're going to frame it. So we want to make sure that the big one fits for the framing and then we'll know where the little one can go. Yes, I'm happy with that there. And if you wanted to, we got this from Lisa actually. She has this tape on her little store, the post-it note tape, and it's really cool because it's just, it's not sticky. I have used washi in the past and look, washi is great. However, I have had a few times where it has ripped my paper and that made me very sad. <laughs> we don't want ripped paper. So we're going to run this through. Whee! I'll just run it through again, actually, just because it's a double. Like we're going through two pieces. So just to make sure that that cuts all the way through. Let's have a look. And it's actually really good having the post-it note there because I can just check if it's coming off without moving it. And if it wasn't budging, then I could just recut. Good. And then the next thing we're going to cut is the, so I'm just peeling that off there just carefully. It's still sticky, so just be mindful that it's still sticky. And the next thing we want to do is cut out our frame. How's everyone going? Lisa, you're sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Lisa has the, the sticky post-it notes on her store. So we're just going to line this up. And this one up. And this is where the post-it note... And I'm using reusing the same piece. So everything can get reused again. So this doesn't have to be exactly spot on, but I'm pretty happy with where that's sitting. Just a little piece there. Pop your little plate on and then run it through. Whee! I love these machines. They're so cool. Like how much you can do with these stamp and cut and emboss machine is just incredible. Now, of course, every other piece you can keep. Like, you know, the piece that we've cut out of the designer series paper. But look at this. Look what it creates. Woo! A little frame. Isn't that the coolest? And that's going to match up with our project. That's just a little tip for you there. We didn't have to add that. Look, if you had time restraints, then you didn't have to do it. But I think it's going to look really, really great framing that. And I probably could have used some of our adhesive too. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Chop it. <laughs> Got all my frames down here. Now the other thing that I do want to cut out, and that's why I grabbed these C little things here. We've got the C dies and we've also got the C life ones. So these are fantastic for decorating the inside piece that we're going to have at the base. Oh, where did my little Eurotrobe go? Oh, there you go. I promise we'll have new plates for Sunday. We really do have new plates. I'm, save, I'm saving them for Sunday. <laughs> so we just want to make sure that we've got the right measurement here. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of a sponging I think in here I think that will look really really pretty and of course we want to decorate it with the designer series paper as well in fact we could probably even do a bit of a cheats <laughs> you don't have to sponge we'll just use paper <laughs> but you could decide to sponge <laughs> that's up to you but how gorgeous will this look or even something softer maybe we'll do something softer so that it really accentuates those pieces that we're going to put on there. 
and I'm going to put them, you could actually even pop them like on with the tiger, I created a little popping mechanism, but you could just use some dimensionals. I mean, it just won't close as tight as you'd like if you use dimensionals, but that's okay. I, th I think it's got enough give here anyway that I think it will be fine, but we'll test it. I'll let you know. I'll let you know through our testing. So I think what we'll do next, we've got our little front cover. I'm just going to glue this down. And I'm thinking it would be really nice to have some sort of, um, just thinking maybe we could use this one here for a little bit of a frame. What do you think? That looks really cool, doesn't it? Maybe we can use some foil on that and have that popping out. I just don't want it to cover too much of the, Hole, but I think it's going to look really good. And even though this is actually designed to go portrait, you know, what what is in the ocean that is always just portrait? I don't think it, it matters if this is landscape. And I have used this dye landscape before and I think it looked really good. It kind of looked like it was swishing in a direction. So let's cut it out. This is how I like to test it. Let's cut it out and see what we think. <laughs> Let's, let's see if we like it or not. <laughs> and then the foil that we've got that comes with this collection is either the Knight of Navy, the Coastal Cabana or the Silver. So there are three options. And I think I'm vibing the Knight of Navy because the, oh, oh, it's really hard, isn't it? This is the hardest decisions we have to make. <laughs> Which, which beautiful colour do we use? Ah! <laughs> Don't make me decide. No, I'm going to do Night of Navy. <laughs> but I think it would look so good in the Coastal Cabana as well. So we're just going to lay that on there. And I don't need it to um, have the adhesive behind it because we're going to be sticking it at the front anyway. And I think it's got enough space around the edges for us to just use some Tombow glue. So let's run that one through. And yeah, I think the rest we'll do just on the base with some, we'll do a few fish and maybe like these little fishies here are really cute. We could even do the big fish. I haven't actually used this one. We could do a seahorse. So there's so many ideas. I hope it's getting your creative ideas flowing for all the different things that you could do with this. So let's pop this on here. And run that one through. So just to give you an idea, like I made the first one as a prototype this week. I'm just doing this a couple of times just in case because it's a little bit thicker. Um, I made this prototype earlier on in the week just to get the measurements and everything right, but I had no clue about anything that I was going to use in terms of the project. And oh yeah, this is another thing by the way, it doesn't cut it right out, so you just need to give it a little bit of a chop, which we'll do now. And keep all of these, look how cool they are. Maybe we can put them in the background, all of those little bubbles. Let's just pop it on the sheet here. And then we can keep all those little sparkly pieces. Get your little brush from your take your pick tool. <clears throat> Even the other end that's a little bit spiky can be really good to remove the pieces too. But I love my brush, your take your pick tool brush. And that just pulls them all away so that if there's anything stuck in there, they can come out. There you go. Throw everything out. You've all jumped out. Good. Good job. So what I can do now, because it's on my plate, I can then transfer that to like a, a into a bag or another sheet for those pieces to get used a bit later. But because I don't have a bag or sheet, I'll just pop it on my bench. 
and make a big mess. Because that's, you know, that's what Kylie does. <laughs> she lives in chaos. I'll have to be different on Sunday because Bruno will come in and go, what have you done in here? <laughs> I think I've got a big enough break in the from when I do my crafting to when Bruno does his. So I can do a tardy tardy in between. <laughs> so we're just going to cut that down. And let's have a look at this. Let's get the die. I don't want to lose that one. Where do you belong, little one? You belong here. There we go. It's going to be blue um, little dots, foil dots, all over Jasper and Bella now. <laughs> I'll be like... I think I went to bed the other night. I'm like, what's that on my back? Oh, no. Have I got a mole? What's going on? And then I, like, scratched it, and it was one of our, um, di the Diamantes from this collection. <laughs> I'm like, only a crafter would know. <laughs> only a crafter would understand. Oh, my goodness. Look how good that looks, people. <gasps> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> How pretty is that? And so if you wanted it to sort of go in a different direction, all that matters is that you're just not seeing any of the edges here. But yeah, that's really, really beautiful, hey? I love it. I'm glad we tried that out. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more on each of these edges and keep all these pieces like... Please don't waste any of it. So that's going in the little collection of little foil things that I've got over here. Because that could go as accents at the base of your cards on the inside. There's all sorts of things that you can do with that. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> they're, having, they're having children. <laughs> so we're going to go like that. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I really like that this little bubble sits in there. I think that's a good spot for it. Yeah. Do you love it, everyone? Yes, it is awesome, isn't it? So what we'll do, very technical, but we're just going to pop some glue, Tombow glue. You could use your tape if you prefer tape. Around these edges here and then stick that down very technical again pre pretend I have a silicon mat under here <laughs> don't watch Lisa don't watch me <laughs> I'll have to see if I can even find my silicon mat <laughs> come here little one he is here somewhere I'll find him later. They go for walkabouts in this little section. You think, oh yeah, I've got it here. No, it's gone for walkabout. Yes, love it. So it's coming together. Now we have more of an idea of what we like for this background. And I do think this is going to look hot. Yes. Ah, look at it against there. So we could even decide to use this lighter side, yeah, and that's really going to accentuate that beautiful, beautiful foil. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure I am. <laughs> and then we've also got this beautiful frame here. And if you wanted to, in fact, this frame would be gorgeous done in the foil, wouldn't it? So that's another thing to keep in mind. You, If you really want to pizzazz that, whole project up use your foil for the outside <laughs> we're getting some skylights put in today which is very exciting it sounds like they're here already that's very exciting now uh we need these to be for our little inserts here we're going to do pretend it's one Cajun craze piece but remember we just cut it down like a one millimeter so just keep that in mind 
that we're just doing Cajun Cray size minus one millimeter. And then our other side, I'll just cut it to the Cajun Cray size first. And then from here, I can cut it down to the size, which was 7.4. Yep. 7.4 for um, metric peeps. And it was two and three quarters for everyone else. And then that should hopefully sit perfectly on here. Oh, we need a little bit more, I think. Yeah, a little bit more cut off. Doesn't that look great? And I want it to be, you know, joined as in connected in um, pattern. So just looking at this, it just needs one more millimeter off both sides. So. Let's try that. Oh, oh, I hate it when it. I need a new blade. You can tell as soon as it starts doing that little thing, <laughs> it's time for a new blade. I'm not mucking around with you. <laughs> I will not tolerate this behavior. <laughs> I always have plenty of reserves on hand. We've got another, another lot there, but I do like pushing it to its absolute limit. At least if I change it now, I know for Sunday it's all going to be perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Oh, it cuts like butter. <laughs> soon as you see it gathering like that, do not get frustrated with it. Just be like, ugh, done with you. There we go. So that should sit nicely now. Yay! I'm very happy with that. So just make sure before you stick it down that you've got it the right way around, that you're happy with how it's sitting and that it's connected to the paper because I think it looks really good. It's sort of this... Um, you get a, a bit of a surprise, like, oh, it opens there. I thought it was just one piece. So try and get it to the edge of this bit here. Yes. And again, just before you stick it down, make sure that it's lined up there. There we go. Oh, yes. Bring it down just a little bit. Perfect. Yay. So we're going to do... <laughs> she discovered the diamond pieces on her feet. I love it. <laughs> now, what have we got next? So I think the inside is definitely something that we want to have a bit of a play with. So I think that it will be nice to use the designer series paper in the background here as well. And I think having something like this paper, something soft, let's see what other colors we've got here to choose from. We've got all sorts of different ones to play with. Look how much we've used this paper, isn't it awesome? We've had so much fun. <laughs> like, wee! <laughs> The Ocean Collection is definitely one of our faves. <laughs> oh, even this one's really nice too, isn't it? With the bits of blue through it. Very, very nice. Yeah, I think having the light blue, I like this one here because it's got a little bit of the Night of Navy sort of running through it. So let's have a play of that one. Bring all of you guys over here. Oh, there's even this bit here actually. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think this one here. That's gorgeous. Let's try that. So we're going to do... Uh, the height will be the Cajun Craze height. 
but the width will be um, so we did 1.5 on both sides taken out so just minus your width minus three centimeters so we usually the 14.9 one two three so it's like 11.9 and then for our us it's half an inch on each side you're normally four what are you four and a half or four and a quarter whatever you are just minus an inch and that will give you your measurement for the inside Ta -da! very technical And that's going to be our inside. Yeah, I love it right to the edge too. It looks so good. So let's stick that down. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look at the other side. <laughs> I think it's the hardest thing about using designer series paper is using the, the putting glue on something that you love. It's like, no. There we go. Now you may decide to put some designer series paper here, but I've actually um, in the last one, and I think even the, the first one that I did, I decided to keep this plain, mainly because I wanted to take the person's vision, like create a tunnel to that middle section there. And I just really loved that it opened up like so. Isn't that cool? Now the next thing, actually I will keep this here because the next thing I want to do is just cut the little um, pieces for this to feed into just so that you've seen the whole gamut of the project and then it's just decorating that's left. So the main, the, the most difficult bit, well it's not difficult at all really. <laughs> You'll be like, really? That's it? <laughs> but the whole construction is all done then. So I've got a piece here. I'm um, just seeing if I have a spare piece of Night of Navy before I chop into another one. I do like to use my scraps. Do you like to use your scraps? Good, I do have a piece here, I think. Yes. So what we're going to do, we can see that it just needs to be a bit longer than the Cajun Craze width. So we needed it like sort of, you know, an inch or a few centimetres longer than what is there. So I probably will do, I'll do it the other size of the Cajun Craze. And then we can just do maybe, I think one and a half or half an inch in width. So it's very technical, as you can see. We just cut those two pieces so it's the same size as the length right even though we're putting it here but see how it's given us the little extra pieces on each edge which is what we're going to tuck under now very technical <laughs> you're going to laugh at how i measure this where do i score well this card is going to tell me exactly where it wants to be scored because I'm just gonna hold it here and wrap. And I really love this technique because the reason why is I know exactly where this piece is happy. And this it explains to you why I wanted this to be slightly thinner because now when we stick this onto our project, it's tucked in behind. Isn't that cool? And that is literally all our little contraption is for the front cover. So let's do it on this side. Again, just eyeball it. Don't be too fussy. Wrap it around, do one side and then the other. And it doesn't have to be tight. In fact, it's good if it's not because you want it to be able to have that freedom of movement because it's gonna be flowing through this piece here. So yeah, no measuring. Yay, we hate measuring. <laughs> Keep it easy. And then you just stick this down. La la la. And that is your whole theatre card 
Dunskies. Can you believe, have I made it simple for you? I hope so. That was my whole idea. <laughs> to dispel the myth that it's scary. It's really not that scary. It's just taking it one step at a time. I'm just going to hold that there for a little bit. Yep, that looks good. And again, this side here. And glue that down. So really, really awesome card, this one. And that will dry. I think because it's on the um, this piece here, it's quite um, slippery, the foil. So it's not attaching as quickly as usual. But anyway, that's all ready to go. And so that, that's just going to feed into those two pieces. And I'll show you that. A little bit later when that's all nice and dried and happy and then all we need is and you can do either side you can feed it in that way or that way whatever you prefer which side and we need to just put a few little cool things on the inside here and this can be where you put your sentiment if you wanted to you could just have this popping out sentiment through the middle there totally up to you what you want to put in the middle but I think it would be nice to have a little bit of seaweed, right? Let's have a little look here at these dyes. Maybe we can do the fishy. Seems a bit fishy to me. Because <laughs> it is very cute, that fish. <gasps> oh, I do like you. Maybe we can do him in the fo other foil that we didn't get to use. Because then you'll look really, really um, out there. Because we need something that really says, hello. Yeah, let's do that. Sold. Even the silver. Maybe we can do silver because that will be a good accent. That might disappear on this piece. Anyway, you do you. You work out what you want to do. Ooh. <laughs> Silver. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't decide. <laughs> Let's do them both. No. I think I'll do I think I'll do the Coastal Cabana. And with this one, um, will I pop him out? Is he gonna have a pop-up mechanism? Or are we gonna stick him to the to the base? we could do a little pop out for him but the only thing is with pop outs I do like it with these that the pop out sort of sits from the edge because then it moves with the card sometimes when you do those little standing up pop outs you can just fold a piece of paper and just you know do a little accordion and they can be quite good but anyway we'll test it out We'll still do adhesive, and then we have a choice of both, right? Oh, Vicky likes silver. Oh, rose gold. When it looks stunning in rose gold. You do you. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. <laughs> anyway, we'll do we'll do this, and then we'll have a look. Because you know it's our prerogative to change our minds if we want to. <laughs> We're allowed to do that. Uh, adhesive sheets. Have we had any new sign-ups for the online stamping retreat that I can give a shout-out to? Who else has signed up this morning? Now, with the... Um, adhesive what I like to do is just get the die the adhesive sheets get the die and then just kind of cut around the item so that then I know exactly where I need everything to be and you know very technical <laughs> but that is how I do it and I love it because then I get exactly what I need for that item and then it's good because it's got these peeling pieces here that then help me 
to undo that backing without having to get frustrated. So just peel that off and if you wanted to so that you don't touch that and it gets sticky you just put that down and then you can peel off the other piece the other side here with not not getting yourself too much sticky see and then that falls like that Ta -da! so that's how I do it and then just make sure that you've got the right section <laughs> that you're in the right place because otherwise it's like oh no I've cut in the right place ask me how I know and then we'll run that through see you, Kathy Whee! and I think we might even use some of those cool um circles that came from the front guy on the inside piece now this is another thing with this die <laughs> the first time i did it i'm like oh it keeps getting stuck but it actually is part of the die to stay in here so you just need to snip little sections here to pull this out completely it is not you, it is the die. <laughs> the first time I used it, I was like, oh, what have I done? Why is this not coming out? I must say, I do like this Coastal Cabana fish. How cute is it? So there's a couple of pieces here that are connected. So you just give it a little snip and so you can see. We're freeing it. Come here, little one. Again, free. So Stampin' Up! I've done a good job because it's sort of, you know, it, you can use it as an insert to your cards, but then you can also remove it very easily as well. So I'll just cut it. That's probably the biggest cut here. But no drama. And then the last piece is on this side. Oh, look how pretty you look, little one. I feel like I've birthed him. <laughs> By cutting him out. <laughs> oh, the guppy fish. Oh, that's nice, Rachel. <laughs> oh, yes. Jasper's knocking on my door. He's like, I want to go in there. Why does Bella get to go in there? Oh, look how cute that is. Yes. So if we did do a little pop up, <clears throat> some of you are actually more technical, technologically advanced with pop ups. <clears throat> but all I did was, I know it for some of you, it would be very sad to know that I'm using designer series paper. You could use just some plain paper but you know you never know someone might see it they might see behind so you can use some scrap designer series paper and look it's better than the bin right and we'll just do a small piece I'm going to cut this down a little bit and we'll test out both sides and basically all you're doing is just folding it like a little accordion. So you don't have to, again, be too technological with this or too mathematical. You're just estimating the size of the fish, how much space you have there to play with. Now we'll do the whole thing to give us plenty of room to play. There we go. Oh, yeah, the rainbow. I can't believe the rainbow glimmer paper's going. That made me very sad to see that on the last chance list. So, yeah, maybe if you want to use the, the rainbow glimmer paper. I think that's... 
that's actually a really good size. But anyway, we'll see once we once we have a play. Because you can stick it down and then if it's too big, then you can start trimming. Even though it's attached to the fish, you can start trimming afterwards. So we'll just stick that down. Now, is there a little... Oh, yeah, all these gills need to come out. Because I've got the adhesive sheet. Just be mindful. That's probably one downside to using the adhesive sheet with this. If you know you're going to do a pop out, do not use the adhesive sheet. Because <laughs> now all these cool little things here are very challenging to get out. <laughs> but I actually don't mind it with it in. It looks really cool. But yeah, up to you. What you want to do. I'm just going to use this to poke all of these out and get that adhesive because I don't really want the adhesive to undo because then it'll end up sticking to my card which would be a disaster I probably could get the um, embossing pillow and just pull it off and then take the, the sticky off the back actually if I wanted to I might do that because then it'll come off a lot easier. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. Peeling the adhesive sheet. Because then it'll all come off a lot easier. Whee! And if you have your um, embossing buddy, you just want to grab that and all of these pieces you could keep if it didn't have adhesive all over it. Come here little one, come to mama. very happy with that so how do I take the adhesive off this you ask let me show you it's very very sticky right now and this will be an interesting test even for me because I have heard about it but I don't think I've ever actually done it but you get your powder from your embossing buddy I cannot believe it people it's working what look ah, didn't stick to me ah, this side however very stuck so there you go if you ever have adhesive in the wrong place actually maybe i should use this instead of my dry shampoo <laughs> i'm just gonna use the embossing buddy in my hair when my hair gets oily <laughs> can i do the same principle Save me a fortune in dry shampoo. <laughs> I like it, Kylie. I like your thinking, girl. <laughs> Anything from having to wash my hair. <laughs> I'm just embossing buddying my hair. <laughs> Leave me alone. So I think I am going to cut this down because it doesn't feel like it's sitting straight for me. I'm going to cut it in half. But we've got two pieces we can play with. I think I might even use this side. Yeah, let's do this one. This can be the base and this can be attached to the fishy. And if this doesn't work, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I tried. I promise I tried. <laughs> Lie down here, little one, while I do surgery on you. Oh, that actually looks very cute. Yeah, I think he's going to be all right. He might be a bit lopsided, though. 
<laughs> he might he might um face plant <laughs> he'll be like <"Ugh." laughs> but anyway you can have a play and see what you think see what you come up with because it does need to be cantilevered oh it's actually not bad once i push down on him he seems to be a bit happy so let's try that Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Come on, little one. You can stay. You can stay there. That's it. <laughs> he looks like he's nose diving a little. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. Look at him. He's like very head heavy. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Yeah, it's good with the embossing. I've heard about it with the embossing buddy. But, um, yeah. I've never actually given it a go. You use a little baby powder as dry shampoo. I've heard baby powder works. So that's why I thought, oh, it'd be good to use something, um, you know, that is powder. Because I did hear that. So I actually don't mind it, even if it was just stuck down a little bit like that, and then this whole headpiece here raises up. So that would be good. Yeah, I think it would be really good. Yep, I love it. <laughs> And now we do the little bubbles and then we're happy. What do you think, everyone? Have you had fun? Who's going to give this theatre card a go? Oh, yes. I do love me some little foil bubbles. Do I have my, oh, I don't think I have any tweezers. I'll just use my, um, take your pick tool. It's like a second hand, the take your pick tool. Yeah, I think it's easier to go like this. So I've got it on the end of my take your pick tool and then you just, Put a dot where you want it to go. Come on, little one. Another bubble there. I love these because they're like, it's like adding um, sequins, but you could even use the little um, rhinestones if you want to use the rhinestones. But I think this is fun because it's using, you know, things that you probably would not consider using. Because we normally chuck these things out, but look how pretty it is. Oh, sorry, just knocked you there. Look how pretty they look. We'll do a few over here. Maybe he's got a bit of wind. <laughs> it's the fish with wind. He's been eating too much kelp today. <laughs> Gotta stay off the kelp, little one. <laughs> You're getting indigestion. Oh my goodness, I love these little bubbles. I'm addicted to them. Just need one more. I promise. It'll never be enough. Never. <laughs> one more over this side. So only you guys know what these bubbles here are. <laughs> and when you see them, you can have a good laugh. <laughs> Too many baked beans down in the ocean. Oh my goodness, I love it. Love, love, love. So let's just sit there. Sit with this for a moment. 
a moment's silence for the fishy. And I think I'm going to do the sentiment on the front cover rather than in the middle. And I've got a few here to choose from. I think I'm just going to do a very simple thank you. Why not? And then pop that on the front. Because I think that will sit really nicely, maybe here. So it's just, you know, very nonchalant. It's not taking up any real estate. In fact, I'm going to risk it for my biscuit and I'm going to emboss directly onto here. <gasps> yes. And look, if it doesn't work, I can just cut a piece and put it on top. But I, I have a good feeling about this. I've got fish gills all over my table. Fishy gills. And I've got a piece of our... Ah, oh, there's the ocean one too. That's really nice. You could get use the sentiments from there. Either, either. Either, either. Whatever you prefer. Because there's some nice sentiments with the ocean collection too. There we go. Okay, we got it the right way, yes. Moment of truth. Wish me all the best. All the best. Oh yes, that's looking good. Yep, I really like it. I think it just adds that little something, but it hasn't added any bulk to the card or anything like that, which is great. Do a little tidy tidy here. We'll do the heat emboss. Ready for the magic. Here we go. Whee! Yes. I really love that. I think that that has come up really pretty. <laughs> and there you go, people. Now, where are you going to write? Everyone's probably saying, well... Oh, will we close? You might have to just push him, push him down a little bit. <laughs> so stay there. <laughs> and all we're going to do, I'll just turn this around so that you can see how you feed it in. So you just get the one side and feed that in. And you know it's going to be all good because we... Just use this as the guide, and then you do the other side and feed that in. Just like so. Now, if you wanted to do the whole length, like if you wanted this piece to be a little bit longer, you probably could so that it's not catching on anything underneath there. So you could, you know, wrap the whole thing round but you just want to make sure that the, the seam maybe is in the middle so that you're not having any issues um, you know, with it. But once it's in, like this bit here is probably the hardest bit, but once it's in, then it's good to go. You're not really pulling it out again. There we go. I think it's fed, fed through now. Come on, little one. You can do it. I've been birthing fish, birthing. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you can do it. I think this side was for the other side because <laughs> it's a little bit tight. If it if it does do that, you can just swap sides. I might actually do that because the other side it 
fed through so easily because these are slight this is the this is the problem with eyeballing <laughs> there's one side that's okay and there's one side that might be slightly different and it does make a difference there you go that's a bit better one side and the other come on little one don't be don't be misbehaving now it's because i'm looking at the time and i know i'm meant to be with lisa right now <laughs> i'm like quick <laughs> and when i tell myself i have to hurry then i start stressing no that's much better <laughs> i'm like you have to finish this will be me on sunday i'm finishing i promise <laughs> I promise I won't go over time. I'm going to practice. I won't be winging it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Look. <laughs> you know you all love it. <laughs> the thank you's here and the fish is upside down. <laughs> That's true Kylie style. <laughs> this is what Kylie does. <laughs> it's just how I roll. <laughs> there will be these moments even on Sunday. I'm telling you. And, you know, it wouldn't be a real moment, <laughs> a Kylie moment without it. <laughs> oh, gold. <laughs> anyway, the other side I might have to... Um, Pull that off and give it a little bit more um, bandwidth. <laughs> give it a little bit more wiggle room because it's very, very tight, that one. <laughs> but I really hope that you give this a go. Oh, yeah, that's better. I really hope you give this a go because it's actually a whole lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed playing with this card this week. And as you saw with my tiger card... You know, it's a lot of fun how many different, like, designs you can do with it. Oops. <laughs> Pull it through. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh at yourself, don't you? <laughs> These are the... See, I'm showing you all the things that could go wrong. <laughs> These are the things to be mindful for. Just watch what I'm doing. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, dear. How do we solve a problem like Kylie? You don't. You just got to laugh at yourself. <laughs> and little little fishy looks like he's he's having a, an adventure in there. He's like wishing around. <laughs> oh, I just love 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 this. I really do. So I feel like this definitely these gauges. I was a little bit heavy handed. So just keep that in mind when you're doing them to give yourself. This one was really good. I gave myself lots of room on this side. But this one's a little bit tight. But that's okay. I can just pull that little gauge off and just give it a little bit more room. So when you're tucking it around, just, yeah, give it give it plenty of space. Don't be too tight when you come to, um, come to that side and you'll be fine. <laughs> Learn from me, lovely people. <laughs> so there you go. There's our little card today. We got our laughs. You never know what laughs we're going to get, right, today? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Yay! Oh, hello there. No, we don't want to do anything to do with BMW. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so I had so much fun today. It was really, really cute. And I had no idea how this was going to turn out. But I'm very, very excited. <laughs> She's definitely having an adventure in there. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a card with wow factor, that's for sure. Because it's, yeah. You could decorate this, like, so much more than what I've done today. And have a really, really great time with this card. But it's just gorgeous. Yeah, look at this side. He's like, ooh, ooh. So, yeah, that's the only thing to look out for. Just make sure that your little gauge on that side is not too tight. And then you don't want it too loose either because then they fall out. <laughs> so those little gauges are imperative. <laughs> but there you go. 
So let's <laughs> let's do a, a front on Kylie because you haven't got to see my face the whole live today. How annoying was that today? Oh, technology. <laughs> I wanted She's to go to the... Found. Don't talk to me, Siri. I wanted to go to the hairdresser yesterday, but it didn't happen. Yes, sadly isolating. <laughs> Hopefully okay. That's the main thing. So I'll do I'll do a bit of this. Ready? And ready the other side. <laughs> this side needs oil. <laughs> wow, fishy! Can you believe it? <laughs> Unbelievable. And you just can't believe that it goes flat, right? Unbelievable. So anyway, we're going to have lots of fun on the weekend. I cannot wait to see you all there. It is just going to be such a fun, fun time. And expect the same because that's how I roll. You never know what you're going to get in a live Kylie moment. <laughs> yes, it was so much fun. Oh, I'm so glad, Cheryl. Thank you for being here. And yes, you can learn from all my mistakes during the live today. <laughs> and big hugs to all of you. I'm going to head off and hang out with Lisa Curcio now. Woo! Isn't that exciting? And we get to hang out all together on um, Sunday for Australia and Saturday for the rest of the world. Oh, Becky and Anne. Cindy, Patty, thank you so much. They've joined during the live today. Thank you so much. For joining us we're so so thrilled that so many of you are joining up and just remember lots of fun chill out you've got the recording and we'll probably even have some follow-ups to make sure that you actually do the projects I, I can see myself doing a zoom or something like that with you all and having a big catch up and saying hello so no I'm not hairdressing um, I'm not isolating my hairdresser is Mwah. <laughs> she cancelled on me. Yeah. So, yes, big hugs to you all. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rachel. <laughs> and, yes, drop bears will be at the retreat, so watch out for them. They're pretty scary. <laughs> Thank you all for being here for my little fishy adventure. Whee! What are we naming him? Fred. That's what came to my mind. Fred the fish. Hello, I'm Fred. Say goodbye to Fred, everyone. Bye, Freddy. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Can't wait to see you on the weekend. <gasps> Bye.